Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Mirrorverse, and here's the plan today. We're gonna start by unlocking Anger. We're gonna level him up. So let's do that real quick. Unlock him here. We're getting him at two stars right off the bat. And here he comes. Very angry. And he's got that flaming sword there, which is his tie that he has fashioned into a sword somehow. Um, so yeah, let's go and start upgrading him. And then once we have him upgraded, I think we're going to try and go into the Tower of Troubles to showcase him. And then I think after that, I'm going to try to play some levels of the Chapter 6 campaign. And hopefully all of this goes well. So we're not able to upgrade him or rank him up three times, but hopefully we can get him up pretty high here. Yes, perfect. So we get him up to 20. And then I might be able to get him a couple of levels here. Whoa. All the way to 25. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think we even need to get anything else right now. So we got a whole bunch of talents here unlocked. We're obviously going to use these first two, so we might as well start getting these ready to go. And I'm not sure how much it's going to let me, but at least a level four, I would assume. Yeah, so level 4 is where it's going to stop. can go here as well. Um, explode? Yeah. Um, let's just do this one. I can't level up any of those either, which is pretty unfortunate, but okay. And then just collect all these milestones. Alright. There we go. So, we've got him unlocked. Like I said, we're going to go on the Tower of Troubles. We're going to bring in Anger and Aladdin. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably bring in a healer, maybe Bell or something. The stage wants us to bring in tanks, I think, but I'm not worried about three starting or anything. And let's also there's Bell. So let's start here. We'll do probably like three levels, trying to showcase, and then like I said, try to play some uh, campaign levels as well. We'll see how all this goes. So starting off with Anger here, he's got a sword as his main weapon. So kind of just slashing with that. He's losing health pretty quick here. And then his charge up, he like kind of slams. He's going to die. So here's his move here. Whoa. That was a lot more animation than I feel like we're used to. He gets a lot of treatment there. Anger might die. Like, these guys are not making it easy on me. Bam. There's an animation in regular time. Make sure to heal again, that's very important. Can we just kill somebody, please? Thank you. Kill him, thanks. Alright. Two bosses here. Aladdin gets his thing right away. Uh oh. Bam. Looks like there maybe is a ring of damage that is dealt by Anger as well. And then he seems to be sort of fired up right now. I'm not sure exactly what triggers that. Maybe it's after his skill, or... It said something about him exploding in one of his skills. I don't know if that has it. Well, in his... I don't know. And... Very curious what triggered that. Uh, trying not to die best I can. Oh shoot, Aladdin's gonna die. There he goes, I just tried to use a skill too. How are the two main bosses doing? Oh, they're dead. Let's heal real quick. 
and then try to kill this guy. He keeps healing himself, and he's dead. Wait, oh there we go. Uh, honestly we might lose this one. These characters are not strong enough for these battles I suppose. Or maybe you're not supposed to bring in two somewhat weak healers here. Whoa, so now he's all in that, in that like fractured form. Maybe it's the dependent on the, the wave you're in. The first wave he's normal and then the second wave he's a little bit stronger and then the third wave he gets like huge. But I wonder how that would work if there are more than three waves or less than three waves. Maybe it spreads it out a bit if it's not like that. So Bell's got quite a lot of health. I hope that we can still win here. I gotta kill Scar. They also have a healer which is gonna be pretty annoying. I was hopeful that this would be going better than it is. Um, oh man, I don't know if Bell can even do this, but we can try to kill Scar quick and see if that helps at all. I'm trying to move around and she's just not cooperating, so that's not annoying at all or anything. Next we should try to kill the healer. She's just hitting me no matter what I do. There we go. And she's... Come on, I was moving. You're so predictable, I know what you're gonna do. Bell's just not doing what I'm asking you to do. This is basically free hits on her right here. It's nice that nothing else is spawning in. And there we go. So that was very close. I don't know if I should try something different. I feel like I could probably use a healer for these guys. What is um what does it say I need for a score? Was I below it? I am below it. So um I'm gonna take out Aladdin. Just because we kind of showcased him before, and it's just like, I don't think I'm going to make it very far if I bring in both of these characters, so unfortunately I'm going to have to do this instead. Um, so yeah, hopefully this goes a little bit better. We're going to be playing as Anger again, and we'll have to see it. Because, yeah, it seemed like he was powering up as we went through the waves, which is an interesting concept for sure. Uh, it's more of a benefit to get him to that final wave, which is usually the hardest. So let's do this animation again. Yes, yeah, so you see that ring forms around him and then he kind of damages everybody that's in the ring. It's pretty cool. Jeez. That was harsh. <laughs> okay. So. I suppose it's probably about time I start saying what I think about Anger. I mean, that concept of him going stronger as he moved through, which does definitely seem to be the case now that I'm here in the second wave, and it's done it again. Um, as a melee character, he doesn't seem any more special than any of the other ones, I suppose. I feel like the melee ones kind of all uh, basically end up feeling the same, whereas like the, the healers can have differences in how they heal and uh, characters like Baymax differentiates himself by having that ring constantly around him and everything uh, showing you the field of like defense uh, sure uh, neither of those were that great but let's fight Maleficent here uh, there's a chance that I'll do another Mirrorverse video in between now and the next update. Uh, but there's also probably a pretty good chance that I won't. Um, if I'm like, you know what, I feel like playing Mirrorverse. I feel like getting through another chapter of this the story or the hard mode or something. I may try and do that and do like um, a team video. People have been suggesting teams I could try out and I thought that would be a fun idea to try. Oh, we lost anger. That's too bad. Um, 
but yeah, that would be a fun way to uh, still showcase some characters in a specific way while also uh, making our way through some more story levels. So I may end up doing that if I end up doing another video. Otherwise, I may just wait for the next update and to, to showcase some up, some new heroes. Uh, but I really don't know yet. I've got a lot of stuff I want to do right now, so like a lot of games got updates recently, and I need I have a lot of stuff to cover, so uh, keep that in mind too. Let's let's do one more. And I'd like to bring in Aladdin one more time. I haven't played it as him at all yet today. And now that I have him a bit more fairly leveled up, you can see him a little bit better in action, hopefully. So let's try him out. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of anger. Like I said, he has a cool idea, uh, but I don't think I would use him over other characters at the moment. Maybe when I have him more leveled up, it'll be more worthwhile. And Aladdin might die in the first seconds here. Uh, let's try to get some defense on him. He's losing it as quickly as he's gaining it. Dang it. Oh, come on. There we go. Should probably heal as well. And do this real quick. There we go. Two what well, Oogie Boogies here. I'm evading his attacks for now. Bam. Alright. Lion's doing better right now. Stunned all of them. These guys have a lot of health compared to uh, Aladdin's uh, power level right now. Let's do this. He does give a wound, which is pretty nice. It doesn't seem to last too long, which is unfortunate. Well, no, he's still being wounded, actually. Never mind. Let's get some defense as well. Wait, did he heal? Is there a healer or something? I feel like he had less health. Let's do this. Dang it, I was hoping that hit both of them. Now uh, let's heal as well. And we're gonna stun in a second. Yeah, this is taking a while. I don't know how to feel about Aladdin either. I mean, if Anger has one unique thing about him, uh, as far as I can tell, I'm not seeing too much uniqueness with Aladdin. As a melee character, he seems pretty straightforward. But there may be something that I'm not understanding. That wound, uh, the ability to wound is always pretty nice. But even like Merida has that ability, I think, so I don't know how necessar necessary it is for Aladdin. Yeah, I don't know what stands out for him. I would rather use another melee character instead of him as well, I think. But maybe he's a bit stronger than the other ones. I, I don't know. For all I know, he could be at the top of the tier list. I, I really don't know. Uh, I guess I like Anger a little bit more just in that sense because, like I said, he does have something that's unique that I haven't seen before. Uh, if, if that's even what's happening, he may just... It could be... I mean, I doubt it, but I, it could just be cosmetic completely. I, I doubt that's the case. But it's certainly possible. Or something else is happening, like he gains more focus or something instead of just becoming more powerful in general. I, I really don't know. I never look into these things. You know me at this point. Uh, but if any of you know, uh, of course, let me know in the comments. I read the comments more than I read um, the stats of the characters in these games, for sure. So, if you have any idea, let me know. Aladdin's losing some health. He's the main one fighting solely at the moment. Scar's about to die. There we go. You can do this. 
stop him in his tracks. Oh, that did reach him, that's good. And then heal as well. And get out of there. Thank you. Alright. We're about to do it here. That went well. Uh, possibly three stars, depending on if I completed the conditions. It was, okay. So let's get out of here. Like I said, I would like to try to get through some of the main story. Okay. Wait, what did that say? Hit at least three enemies using chroma stones. I've never seen that clear condition before, have I? I don't think so. Alright. So we need to bring in a strong team. That's pretty strong in my opinion. Uh, let's go for it. Hopefully Bell is strong enough to do this. Uh, that may be my only mistake, is bringing in Bell. I feel like Merida and Baymax are pretty good choices. Only two battles here as well. Hopefully they give me a lot of Chroma Stones. Because I would like to get three stars if I could. So let's try and break... Oh, it's about to blow up. And this one as well. How do we break it with her? Oh, that's about to blow up. Alright. I would assume we've hit three enemies with that by now. Uh, I didn't say kill, it just said a hit, so... Hopefully I, I got that clear condition. What? You kidding. Get out of your ice storm characters. They have like a lot of health. Okay, there we go. And Jack is going to be the main villain of this one. I would assume more Chroma Stones are going to fall in. Yeah, they're already here. We might as well hit the healing thing right away if we can. There we go. Can't really heal if you're already full health. We could try to hit these Chroma Stones. That one's about to go. We hit Jack with it, I think. Whoa, okay. Merida got hit with it too. Let's uh, get some defense on her. Hopefully she's aiming for Jack here. I think she aimed for someone else, but he still got hit. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, someone might definitely... Merit is going to die. Okay. Well, so much for three stars, but hopefully we can still beat it. There comes a bunch of ice guys. I really need to ki kill Jack before anything else. I don't know what Bell's up to, but... Um, let's heal right away. We've got fire and ice out there. Jack is almost dead. Uh, she's gonna die any second. I could try to come over and get some defense on her. It's not gonna matter. Whatever. Let's just hopefully not die. What? Get? <laughs> I'm not trying to attack you. Uh, Baymax could easily lose this. He's taking so much damage right now. Yes. See, I was like way overpower still uh, than what it was suggesting and I was almost lost. I still got two stars. I guess only... Oh, yeah. It's because... Dang it. If I could have let one live, we would still got three stars. I don't know how it works if I need to get Chroma Stones again or if I just need to complete it with two heroes again uh, to actually get the three stars. This area is deeply corrupted by fractured magic. Yes, there are quite a few fractured here and they seem to be drawing more elementals. It looks like they're coming from the castle. Let's press on to there. I like how you guardians banter. Let me try. Stick together, guardians. There could be trouble ahead. How's that? Pretty, hero pretty heroic, huh? Sure, Augie. Whatever you say. 
Let's hope this one goes better. More battles than the previous one. It's probably not a great sign, but... Uh, I should probably be playing as Baymax, I guess. Um, maybe it would be in my best interest to bring in like Rapunzel or something instead of one of these characters. I mean, I feel like either Bell or Baymax are necessary to give me some sort of help with my health. But I don't know. Dang it. Alright, we might as well use this. Let it recharge. Don't use that on one of those. That's so useless. God, I hate how... The characters are never aiming where you want them to aim. Like, it does not make sense for her to shoot her arrow at that enemy. It, ju it just doesn't. That's one of the most annoying things about it. You have absolutely no control on what your teammates are doing. Like, if you want everyone to be attacking one character at once, you have no way of getting them to do that, because as soon as you switch over to the main character you want to control, the other character does whatever it wants. It's the most frustrating thing. You have so little control over most of the characters in the round. I don't know how they would fix that. If there's, I, I feel like there's a way before you could click on who you're targeting, but I fairly confident that's not a thing anymore but I really think they should bring that back if there's a way to get all three characters to see why would you aim the arrow at that character that does not matter these two characters are right next to each other you could have got a big hit on them if I had any control over Merida at this point I could have done it and I suppose I could switch to her and try to get her to do that but that's just like I don't know that shouldn't be necessary I could simply tap on the enemy I want to the characters aim for and that should be that. Single tap for your character to attack them, double tap for the other characters that aim for them. I feel like that's a fairly simple way to fix this. <sighs> Anyways, what are you gonna give me here? Sure. The other ones were not that great. So Baymax is looking the most rough. We can start out by getting some defense right away. And healing as well. Oh my gosh. This is not going to go well. It's like, what? Can, uh, thank you for aiming for Hercules. We really need that right now. Oh, yep. Baymax is going to die right now. Come on. At least survive a little bit. Oh my god. What was even attacking him? I don't know. Where is everybody aiming for him at once? It's, okay, at least there are some clumped around each other, but Jesus. I don't know if we're gonna win, if I'm being honest. I thought I was, high, uh, I was strong enough to do this, but apparently not. It's maybe a shorter episode than usual, but yeah. I think this might have to be the last one regardless, because it's just like, I'm not going to win any future battles here. Let's see if we can beat this. I, I, I doubt it, but... Alright, it's just me and you right now. I'm sure more characters will spawn in any second, but... Whew. Yep, here they are. Great. That is so annoying as well. They really should just make a finite amount of characters for you to fight. You shouldn't have to worry about more stuff spawning in if you take too long. What is that? <laughs> Crot shot. <laughs> okay. We're done, I guess. I thought I'd be strong enough. The recommended power makes it seem so, but I'm not so sure. Which makes me worry that I don't think I could get through much of the hard mode stages in chapter 5 either. Uh, but I suppose... I mean, I'm constantly just loving up my characters in the free in my free time. I play the game about pretty much once a day and do something towards loving up at least one character, so... 
uh, eventually I will get some characters leveled up to the point where I can hopefully get through some more of those levels. I hope they make a way to um, get some more story levels that don't involve just being a lot stronger than the previous uh, story mode, if that makes sense. Like, I kind of wish they wouldn't do Chapter 7 and maybe do um, another, like, a whole new story. Uh, kind of like how they had Axe in the previous version of the game, and then when the new Axe starts, it's a little bit weaker than the previous one. And then it starts to ramp up a little bit now, that one as well. Um, it's just really rough having to escalate so constantly. But I suppose that's how these things usually go. Like every other game is like that too, so I don't really get what I'm even complaining about. But still, it feels like it ramped up pretty quickly from the previous fight, so I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my somewhat short showcase of anger, but I tried to do my best, and um, I'm sure we'll see both those characters get used at some point in the future as well. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.